We thank God for his supernatural power. I bring you heavenly greetings in Jesus' name. Amen. I am still talking about the ability to see. Ye danya mi ase, e woni to me mwa so e hon. Me di heaven in chia brao, e wo yesu di mo. Me gusua e kasafa, di be to me a mwa huna di ye e hon. Let's hear the heaven's report for today. Nothing should be important to you than my salvation and glory. Because when I save you, it is my glory that will carry you along. Without my salvation and glory, you are nothing. Demons can do whatever they want with you. So if you are wise, strive to get my salvation and glory first before every other thing. Thus says the law. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Amen. Amen. Bibiara ni wa ese se hiyan e chen men kwanjie e ne meni monyam. If we say, se me jiwa e ye meni monyam e na e de ube kwa wedim. Se men kwanjie e ni meni monyam e nka hwa o nsefye ye. Adamo ni betu mi ayaw de ope biara. And unti sa wye nyan se niya. Prishu she men kwanjie eni mo nyam kane an sana adi fufro biara aba. Sedye erade si eni. We yo sofu Dr. Kukudazi mama ni boa midi free heaven. Amen. Last week I was telling you about what demons have done to people. That they let some people hate themselves and don't let them think about their own lives. Now what you are a chair mono na me kasa afa de adamoni e de aye enipa ehun se o manipa binum tan won na o ma won pin o ma kasa abrabon demons let such people live to please other people. Adamo ni manipa eti sano, etrasi, eso ni pafufro eni. Demons use other people and other things to pull such people away from salvation easily. Adamo ni di enipa binum, eni niye mebi, echi sa anko fono fri, en kwa jie hon, ewa foso kra. They let unimportant things move such people away from their salvation. O maniema e hui hiano e chinsa ankofono e free en kwa jiyo. And I ended by one of those things that will take many people to hell. That is marriage. Na mi wye yi Wabra me kasafa adie bakwa. E di nipa bi pre e beko e janwa e domi danumu ana hel. A e ye aware. I said, many people will go to hell because of marriage. Me kan se, e nipa pi beko hel. Ana se janwa e domi danumu e sang aware enti. I talked about the behavior of some women and said, marriage does not let many women reason well at all. Because of a ma binum subay who said, a warrior ma, a ma pi, and jini yi kra. When it comes to marriage, some women talk out of emotion, not out of wisdom. 
seba aware ho a e ma binum e kasa free atinkam ne mum e free nyansam such women are the ones who understand themselves and what they do samba no wo mo ana ti wo mo ankasa ase ene ne wo mo yenso so ase because they behave as if marriage is important to them than salvation. Isan say, Womu yet he said ye, Awariye e hiya womu, e chen en kwanje. That, if the marriages of such women go well for them, and they go to hell, they don't mind. Say, Samano awariye koye ma womu, Nese omu ko hell ana janua endu mdaru mukra e ha mukra. If you display marriage and salvation on a table and tell such women to choose one, they will choose marriage. So udi awariye eni mkwanji e gu table so. Na ukachile sa amba anu se omu nyi bakwa ombe yi awariye. It's like they live because of marriage, not because of God. And truly, such women live for their husbands. Akwet said ye, e ya warienti e na omuti asye, ne mum e nye nyaminti. Nanu kreni, sa ma anu ti asye, e ma omu kronum. But I'm telling you as God's servant that, Salvation is important than marriage. God created Adam before he brought Eve. So marriage came to meet Adam's relationship with God. Amen. Adam and and unti awariye ebe tu Adam eni nyankupon enkita hundye. Life comes first before marriage. And it is God who gives life. So it is he you should live for. Not for your spouse who cannot give you life. Enkwa eba ansana awariye aba. Na eye nyamenso ene mankwa. Anu ntie yonu ene sese utina sima. Ne monye u hukenia untumi e maunkwa. You should live for God, not for a human being. Because it is God who sustains your life. Ezese utina sima nyame. Ne monye ni padaseni. Isanse e ye nyame e ne kura wongkwa e mo. So marriage came to meet life and salvation. Neche se awariye e betu e nkwa e ne e nkwa jie. Therefore marriage cannot be important than life. E nunti awariye to me here and change being with God is better than being with a human being who cannot give you life. Se uni nyame wo ha e ye chen se uni ni pada se ni be wo a unto me e ma unko. If your husband wants to prevent you from going to God and you leave him, God, who brought about marriage, can give you another husband. Yes, true. So, kunu si u kwa se, on pese u be kwa nyanku ponche, nese u jainwa, nyamia, odia warie ba eno, u be tumi ama u kunu fufro. But because of the demonic stupidity and emotion that I've been talking about, Demons don't let many women reason well when it comes to marriage. 
Nensu su, e sa adamoni e jimi sem, e ne wa ating kanwa, me kan huwa sem nenti. Adamoni mama pi, e nyini ye kra, se e ba, aware huwa. They let many women dwell only on the marriage and behave as if their lives hang around their marriages. Wamu ma, e ma pi, a jin si, a wari e don kwa so. Na wamu yeti se die, wamu en kwa no, e jina wamu a wari e don kwa so. It's like, without marriage, they don't have life. A kwa yeti se die, se a wari e ni wa, wamu ni en kwa biya, anabra bo biya bo. Such women, Fear to divorce a man who does not even respect God. Their fear for such men is more than their fear for God. Saman srose omu bejae beme bia omu nyamimpo. Sura omu sro sa me manu e chen sura omu di sro nyamimpo. Demons don't let such women understand that. It is God that they can't live without, not a man. Adam oni ma sa man on ti asye se, e ye nyame, e na, wamun tu min transe mo wama bra bo wabra on ka hon, ne mo, e nye be ma. Demons let such women forget that there is a place called hell and marriage can take them there. Adamoni e masa amba anu refise biya bi wawwa ye fre no hell ana janwa e num dano na wari e no beti mi di wawmo akomo. The fear of such women to leave a worldly man is more than their fear of leaving God. Sura sa amba anu wawwa se omu be jayu ya sini be me binu E chen sura omu wo se omu be fri nyan kupon en chen po. Their fear of going away from their marriages is more than their fear of going away from God and going to hell. Omu sura omu wo se omu be fri oma wari e bono. E chen sura omu wa e be ma oma fri nyan kupon chen. Na mwoma diya kwa hel. Ana ija enu mdano mumpo. Their fear of a broken marriage is more than their fear of a broken relationship with God. Sura omu wase woma wari yebe guru. E chen sura omu wase mkita hundia omu ni nyankupon e wano. E nususu ebe guru. Demons let such women fear divorce more than God. Adamoni ma sa manu suru awari jaye eche nyame kura. They let marriage become everything to such women. Oma awari ye eye sa manu adye nina. That is why through marriage they can capture many women and take them to hell. Anunti na awarienti umbeti mi afama pi no mum na wadi wong ako hell ana janwa eno medano emono. That is why demons let their agents in the family. Their agents will pose as friends and their agents will make themselves as pastors Persuade a woman who will complain that her marriage is not good. The husband is abusive. So if she doesn't leave him, she will go to hell to remain in it and not divorce the husband. Demons use their agents to persuade such a woman to remain in such an ungodly and abusive marriage that will take her to hell. Anunti na damoni ema wamesia nemu fwa wamu wabusia mu. 
wo mosi ana mufu a wo ye o mu se wo ye ayonkofo eni wo mosi ana mufu a wo ye wo hu se wo ye asofo no o mu kasa no mu xe o babia wo be bo abubuo se na wari no enye ni kunu ni bo no enu nti se wo enjai no a wo be ko hell ana ejanu enu mdanu mu se wo mu so antrem ne mu ma unjai ni kunu no Adam money, a foul messy and name of so. A can shed some man say, One must want to ask our warrior no. And yen yam a summa warrior, name of brown a woman, ne bet to me dinner call hell no emo. Because they want the marriage to entrap such a woman. The sons of Mopesa warrior, a chisa or barno, say a fidi. And truly, because of the pressure from the demonic family members, the evil friends, and the demonic pastors, many women remained in demonic marriages and died and went to hell. Now, no current Sunni, a son or sha, a free Adam money, a sea, a for a homo, a busyamu, a young kufu, a one any adam money a soft for hunting. A ma pig who swear a tra, or my damn money a warrior no more. Oh, now they call hell, and I genuine enum dano emo. They were persuaded to remain in their abusive marriage, and the crazy men battered them to death. Was she a woman, Emma, or my transa, a warrior, and a bronco, and a woman no emo? And a man no no mabu bada mo bru omu ekumu omu. If you have to persuade a woman to remain in a marriage that came from the world, it is the marriage that the woman has become a Christian. And the man who was a worldly man before has agreed to join the woman in church and change to be a good Christian. That is the marriage that you can convince a woman to consider remaining in because the man has agreed to go to church with her and be sanctified as she has been. That was what Apostle Paul talked about in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. It is not the marriage that the man doesn't want to be a Christian. Se yeah. se se o sha o ba bi se on tra ware e bia e free wi ase ba ya. E ya ware e no a o ba no ba ba e Kristo ni. Na be ma no ana nka kan ni na o ye wi ase ni no. Wa pene so se o ni o ba no be kwa sori na wa sisa ba ba e Kristo ni pa pa pa. Enu ni a ware a o betumi akasa kire o ba bi se on yin ehun na onwu so ara ntrem isan se be man a pin so se oni ne be kwa sori na man ho ate se de onun so so waye no enu na na osuma fu paul e ka ho asem e wo korinto fo ngo ma di kan no tin son chiche mu dumi ensan ene edu na no ne mo nya ware a be man on pese obeye kristo ni let me tell you about a marriage that is between a so-called Christian and a worldly man. Mm -hmm. And no, who told you? Mamin can be bim fa awaria. E fa obi a unu ne si ese oye kristo ni. E ni obi nswa oye viasi ni nte mwa unim. Ne kai ni panswa o kachrao. Every woman who is married to a man who is worldly and not a Christian will go to hell. And every man who is married to a woman who is worldly and not a Christian will also go to hell. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kukudazi said that. I repeat. I say every woman who is married to a man who is worldly and not a Christian will go to hell. And every man who is married to a woman who is worldly and not a Christian will also go to hell. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kukudazi said that. 
Oba biara waware bema oye wiase ni na onye Kristo ni no obekko hell ana janua enum danu mo e na bema bia nso a waware oba oye wiase ni na onye Kristo ni no ono nso so bekko hell ana janua enum danu mo mesi subi o mesi oba biara waware bema oye wiase ni na onye Kristo ni no obekko hell ana janua enum danu mo Ena obema bia nsoa waware oba oye wiase ni na onye kristo ni no ono nso so beko hell ana janua enum danu dr kuku dazi na kai if your husband or wife is not a christian both of you make it easy for demons to take you to their home of hell se ukunu ana wo yire nye kristo ni Mumi enu nyina mumane ye fuma da money pa se o mu de mu beko o mu fia ye janua enu me da nu ana ero let me first talk about the woman what such a woman who is married to a worldly man does not know is that because the man is not a christian demons are in him god's enemies are in him So she is married to God's enemy and by having intimacy with such a man you have intimacy with demons you become one with demons and if you become one with demons because they have entered you where will you go surely you will go to where demons are and that is their home of hell you will not go to God Mami ni kan kasamfa obano. Die sa obano a. O wari ewiase ni be manu nim ni se. E san se be manu nye Kristo ni nti no. Adamo ni ete ni mu. Nyankopon atamfo ete ni mu. Wa wari nyankopon tamfo. Na se oni sa be manu soso danso a. Oni adamo ni na eda. Enu nti oni adamo ni aye ba ko. Na se woni adamo ni aye baako e san se o ma ba wura wa na he na obeko yi no kureni obeko ba bi adamo ni wo a eye o mu fie no a eye hell ana se janua enu medano emu unko nyankopo ho that is why i say that every woman who is married to a worldly man who is not a christian Will go to hell and until na make can say oba bia oware be ma o ye wiase ni na onye kristo ni no obeko hell ana janua enum danu emu no it is because you have become one with the demons in the man asichre eni se woni adamonia etisa oba ma no mu no ayeba ko This is the secret that demons don't want people to know about marriage between a so-called Christian and a worldly person. We ni ahinta semo Adam ni mpese ni pa be hunu afa ware a e fa obi a uno na e pa kire se o ye Kristo ni eni wiase ni bi entem. And they can't know because they are pastors who are supposed to know and teach them also don't know na o mu ntumi hu no kyerese o ma sofo okra sese o mu na hu na o mu tyerese o mu sase mi no o mu sokra o mu nim it is god who wants me to tell you e ye nyame e na pese me ka wo ichira if today's pastors know this They wouldn't push church women to marry worldly men who don't even go to church and also persuade those who are already in their marriages and want to leave because they have realized that their marriage is ungodly and abusive and can take them to hell to remain in Se eneya sofo enimwe ya anka ya o mumpie pian sorry ma se 
Omo nko ware e mema omo ye wiasifo. Na omo nko asorimpo. Na omo nsansu su nshe ma. Omo wa wari emu dada. Na omo pese omo frim. E sanse omo hunse. Omo wari en e bro ni wom. Ne nye. Na se wom frim wa. E di omo beko hel ana janua e numdani muse. Omo suwa entrem. It's all because of how I describe today's pastors. This is my own description. Eh? Don't steal it. I describe them as spiritual illiterates. They don't know anything spiritually because the Holy Spirit who knows everything is not in them. Nina every India. We are me a masemo when we are. Me see a nay a soft one. Womu ye nipa soon soon mono. Womu nemi de. Soon soon mono. Womu nemi she. A son say yame won crum crumma. O nim a de yano. O ni womomo. Demons don't let such women understand what is written in First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. And 17 that the one who is joined to a harlot in intimacy becomes one with her because the Lord says the two shall become one flesh and the one who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Adamoni ma samano en tidye wachro wo korintu fongu ma edika eno tinsia Ni chiche mu dun siya ni dun su na si se. Diye o dene o fam. O jama mfuwa hun. E wo jama mbomo no. O neno e ye bako. E san se. E radia ka se. Wo mi no no. E be ye honan bako. E na diye o dene hun be fam. E radia hon su no. O ni e radia e ye hon hon bako. If such women want to be one with the Lord in spirit. They will be very careful of the man they have intimacy with. Se sa ma anu pe se, o mo ni radi ye bako, e wo hon hon mwa. O mo be she ye pa 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 pa. E wo be ma, o mo ni no e be da, e wo. They will be one with the man who has the Holy Spirit with him. So that they will become one with the Holy Spirit. They will not be one with the man who has demons in him. Womoni be ma nyame won kun kun e woni mu nu e ne be ye ba kun. Se de be ya womoni nyame won kun kun e be ye ba kun. Ne mom womoni be ma adam ni woni mu nu e ye ba kun. But because the women who are married to the worldly men who don't go to church or believe in other religions, don't read the Bible to know this truth, don't care about whom they marry, and don't care to go to hell, that is why they are in such marriages. Now, a son say, Sam Banoa, Oma Wari Wari, Men Manoa, Oma Ye Yasifu, and Oma Kwa Sorry, and now say, Oma Saji, a son for Frobikla, and Edienu. Woman kind Bible e hun sa no kwari. Woman fa hun ni pa omo be ware no. Nen fa omo hun su se. Omo be ko hel. Ana e janwa e nou mi danin ti no. E nou ti na omo wo wo sa aware e nou e mo no. Demons know that such women are mentally weak. That is why they let their agents who pose as pastors push them into trouble. By telling them to accept and marry any man who proposes to them. Adam money nim se. Sa manu. Oma jimu e hari. E nun tina omu ma omu si ane mu fonwa. Omu ye omu se. Omu ya sofonu. E pie pie omu kwa mani emu. Wabre o kachre omu se. Be me biya. Obe kase. Obe ware omu no. Omu mpenso. Na omu ware omu no. Au. Such pastors are very wicked. They want such women to be one with demons and go to hell. 
sa so for o mutu mu ya din pa 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 o mu pese sa ma no eni adamo ni ye ba ko na o mu ko hell ana janua enu mu danu emu i'm telling all single church women that every pastor who tells you to marry any man who comes your way without prayer is a demonic agent and not a servant of God. If such a preacher were of God, he will understand what I'm explaining. Me catch a suja for ma or mukwa sorry nina se or sofu biara or be catch or se. Be me biara or be si upe no so be wari wa wari wunu penisune wari no biano or nya nyamia kwada o ya damu ni si anemu. Se sa sem pakafono o frinyami pa ko beti de me treche moyasi. Because he is demonic, that is why he wants to push innocent church women into bad marriages that will take them to hell. E san so ya damu ni si anemu ninti. And o pese a sorry for ma omu trimu fine a omu nimi feno o pie pie omu ko awaria e di omu beko e jano e numi dano ana amani e mono. I also want every church woman to understand that if you marry a man who is not a Christian, you will go to hell with him. Me sa su su pese a sorry for ma inati asiese. So wari be ma onye Kristo ni ya. Oni ni miye nu yina mube ko janu e nomi danu. But unfortunately, many of today's church women don't care about what I'm saying. Na rao seven ni se, e ne yi asore fo ma no. Di emi ki ken yina enfa o mokra. What is important to them is the man's ability to take care of them. Whether the marriage will take them to hell or not, they don't care at all. They hear someone say, "Be man be to me a fair woman." So worry no, e di omu be ko hell ana e janu e num de numu kra e di enya oma sem kra. Their policy is, if the man has money, oh, we are good to go. We can marry. Oma seven is say, "Se be man wo si kan kwa dia." Oh, any ya e krado ye beti mi aware. That is the mindset that demons have given to many of today's church women. Sani ajinia adamone dia ma ene ma ba wadwa omo ko asore no. To them. Marriage is about the man who can provide money, not about the man who can take them to God. The Omo Patron said, Our real dear, if a bema obey to me, a disikaba, a home, Nemum, and fa bema, a bit to me, the Wako, Yankupon, a home. But that is a myopic mindset. Nancy, so we are Jim O'Hari as him, pa. Demons let such women think about marriage. They don't let them think about where such marriages would take them to, as I said. Adamo ni ma, sa ma anu jine awari ehun. Ne mom, wama omo njin, bebi a sa awari ehun, edi wombe konu ehun. Se di emakano. Such women don't know that marrying a man who is not holy, but indulges in all the things that God has forbidden will take them to hell. Some man who nim say, so what a bema on your crum crum. Nemum or yet near man, young coupon a brain. A the woman be called hell and a janua and umdano. It is from this backdrop that I say that. All the family members, all the friends, and all the pastors who persuade a church woman to either marry an ungodly man 
or remain in an abusive marriage that is ungodly and will take them to hell are either demonic agents who want such women to go to hell or don't know what I'm talking about. A free sign in a swainty and a make us a busy a foinina a young kufoinina a soft woinina almost share a sorry knee by be said. On worry, we are sinny bema a nasa on tra a warrior and free me. Na a bronco and a womb never to me dinner co hell a night general enum denumuno. Say yes, sir. Or your damn money is here, Nemo. Or Pesses our barn or Cohella. And I say, Jano, I know that more. And you're not owning their making. If you call yourself a pastor and you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't qualify to lead people spiritually. There's all fro who's a way of suffer. There's all name their making. Um fata se udi ni panim e osunsumu. Demons are using you to destroy the lives of innocent church women. Adam money e fausu as say a sorry for mabawa omu enimri. You will push innocent women into marriages that will take them to hell. Ube pien pien e ma ba wa Womu ni mshi E di woma kwa waria E di woma be kwa hel Ana janwa e no medano emu You will also persuade some church women To remain in worldly and abusive marriages That will take them to hell as well Ube sansu swa she a sorry for ma se Womu gusun tina e wiasi a wari ya e bronko ane womu a e betu me di womu ako hell anase obon sam janmu enso. Church people should understand that every pastor who tells church women to marry men who are not Christians and persuade women who are already married to ungodly men and have realized their mistakes and want to leave such marriages to remain in is not from God. He is a demonic agent, as I said. A sorry for untias yes. O sofu bia o catchre a sorry ma se won ware mema womu nye Christopho. Na o shema woma ware mema womu nye nyame sumfo. Na o mafunu o mafum so. Na o pese o jai sa wari en se. O mwusu a antremono. O mfri nyame. O yadamoni e si anemo. Se di emakano. If he is really called by God. He will know what I'm explaining. He will understand that. God's children. Should not be joined. To worldly men. In marriages. Because light has nothing to do with darkness. Se nyami na freno pa. Anko obe hundi ya mitre tre mwen. Anko obe ti asye se. Nyan kupon madye. Yem faye hun fam e vyasif wo mema e wa wari emo. E san se hain e ni sum e ni chakambia. So if someone calls himself a pastor. And wants light to join with darkness. It tells who he is. He does not represent God. He works for demons. And it is so be a friend who suffer. No person high any sum a kambo mwa. A chren ni pa oye. O nsi nyami anemo. Oye juma mada money. So if you are a woman. And you want to be with God in eternity. Don't let marriage become your God. Don't let marriage become a stumbling block to you. Don't let any demonic pastor or a family member 
force you to remain in an abusive and ungodly marriage that will take you to hell. And don't you say, oh, you're bad. Nessa o pese o ni nyame tena afiboa. Me ma awarie e meye u nyame. Me ma awarie e meye wa kwensi die. Me ma o damo ni sofu biya. Ana e busye ni biya e nshe u se. Tena awarie a enfri nyame. Ne bronko ansu ne womwa. E betu me di wako hel. Ana e janwa e nume danu e mo. Don't let demons fool you into thinking that if you marry an ungodly man, it is nothing. Mama, that morning Jimmy Uma on me say, "Se u wari be ma onye Kristo niya enya fe." Don't speak out of emotion. Speak as a wise woman who wants to be with God forever. Men kasa mfri atenkamu. Kasa tise o ba nyan safwa. O pese o ni nyan kupon tina afiba o. Listen. Marrying a man who will take you to God is better than marrying a billionaire who will take you to hell. I repeat. I say marrying a man who will take you to God is better than marrying a billionaire who will take you to hell. Dr. Kukudazi said that. Tie me. So, what is it? You can't tell me that you can't tell me. You can't tell me that 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 you can't tell me. Me si se o wari be ma o be tumi di wako nyan kupon honu. E ye chen se o be wari si keni ya wanyane wanyantam. A o di ube ko hel. A nan se e janu wa enu medanum. Dr. Kukudazi le kaye. A woman complained to her pastors that she wanted to separate from her husband. Because the man was very quick tempered and abusive. She was afraid that the man would kill her one day. So she moved out of the man's house. But the pastors told her that, Hey, marriage is not to be broken. She should go back and remain in. They persuaded the woman and the woman went back. And over a trivial issue, the man's hot temper came. And he threw the woman out of the window. And she died a very painful death. My question is, who caused the woman's death? Answer that at home. As a woman, I'm telling you that a word to the wise is enough. Obabi kobabubuo Echire na sofu ose. Opese o chen hon fri. Ni kuno e hon. Isan se be man ni koku hano. Na bro hano obono. Na osro se. Wan re ya. E debi be man ni be kuno. E nun ti. Wasi san ni e ma fri. Be man no e fi. Nen su su. Na sofu ono kachire ni se. Hey. Awari e die. Ye nguno. E nun ti on sanko. Na onko tina na wari emu. Omu she obano a. E ma anisa ko a wari enu. Na asem kiti 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 bi hundi. Be ma ni koku bane enu. E san babi u. E na o tu obano fa mpume mu. E na obano u huwa. E yapa. Na ma sembi sa ni se. Hwain e na ye ma sa obano u ye. Wa ya no wafi. E ya rehu semba. Na se wu ya oba no. Ye me kanche wu ni se. Oba nyan se ni. Ye bono be. Na yen kanase. Now let me address the men. Afe ma men kasanchire me man on so. A man will also complain about his wife. 
that she does not respect him. She is very quarrelsome. She quarrels with him over trivial issues and insults him in public. The wife is dirty and smelly. A lazy woman who wastes money on makeup and wigs. She does not like godly things. But tell him that his wife is a witch. So he should leave her. Else he will go to hell with her. And you will be shocked of what you will hear from him. God will in next week. I will continue my message. Bema bin sube to me a bobu bua fan yere huwa kase. Ni yere ni mbunu. O ye nito kwa pefo. Na asem kiti kiti bi hukra. No ne neko. Na e nipa enim ene yao didi na tem. Ni yere ni ye fin. Na ne honsu wanka. O ye oba kwa jufwa. O se sika. E wo e ni emanua. Ye di kike kike ye ni mbunu. E ni wigi wigi non suso e hon. Na ompe nyanku pa on nema. Na so katse a nisa ni yire ni yebe yifu o. A nun ti on yay no. A nye sa a. O ni no. A be ko hel. A na janu a enum danu. Ne be ya o mwa mwa. E o di e o be ti e fri be manu enum. Nyami ya du ma dase ne. Be ma be tuasu. So if you are wise. Don't let demons make you stupid because of marriage. Don't let marriage become your God. Let salvation be important to you than everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I don't think I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say Man kwa jie hiyao. En cheng a die biara. E wo yesu dinti. Amen. Amen. If you want to have salvation. Give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ. By praying this prayer with me. And as I always say. After that come to church. And let me train you. How to live a holy life to please God. So upe se unyan kwa jie and me more sampaye. Na said ye debi amicano. And no chinu bra sorry. Na minti tu. Wa kwa obe fasa obe bo a braba crum crum. A dear shenya me ding any Lord Jesus. Radi yesu. I thank you for speaking to me today. Did I was sick? So I cast me. I accept that I am a sinner. Did you too send ye the boy ye di? But from this day forward. Then so if you never cry. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people, for them to see salvation as a very important thing so that they will run to you for their own lives to be saved. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Daniel, me shower ne pa 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 pa. Amen. Onye do fua uti ye e ye. Doctor Kukudazi Efrim ena ene odi nyami asem Efrim esu busu ebreo e ye AP Radio one zero five point seven. Se upese uti nyami asem ibio. Ah, ye be si so a wo epi he ya ukwada any fiada any brenon so na u shu sha ye chira kwa in so na peso de besoma ye wo kase main road ube who se abatua wo ben kumusua ni fa so filling station a etwa twa suno 
filling station the two subido no a quiet dad in chim is sad cofob. O fasa a quiet no so I be do for chai and co baby a buma be who say holy lad and no ho and ne a no pay quesia day as soon the year no crum who quada and you bring no nifa a ye Bible and this year and if you had that and you bring no nifa so a ye and pipe and they have a patch say in a warrior a dinny pa a bit in your co heaven and the hair him now a ye no crap to do or so for me as a man bring your catch him and now say now and also a cotifly eh or say a warrior by and sunny jam is mumba now not to say now a warrior no way and a day jam is so way and a jam yam for jam yas and treachery Adam, the moon, our hair seem to the church. The ref is Adam by and then you may the bra, it will true to me and sad if ever. Now, and the whole name of Christ to say, I pay ya a summer and die if we are seeing you, so I really need ya. Make us see a quiet heaven and our hair like any of our real beco. Now, where ya are here, if we are ready. Na a year we are see a warrior, not by who be who Christu. Who say, A warrior may tell one of me to know one, and the member come on some gem to me to them. Dear Yammy, ya cry, ya man, with ten, he said, Nippa no year we are seen, you know, our home feet in the moon. Yamma, a quiet up on tea in our chest, say, Oh, yeah, oh, my neighbor. No, I said, Yeah, my friend for a woo Christian name. I said, Yeah, papa, cry, O Christian, he would need a home money with the chaka. Na wasa no be ba ko e die na o pa chere nyame se wu wa o di sa ho ho mani ne ti mu no be kwa he e no nti o ni adofo su enya san wo na jire wo kwa die ho e sa se kwa die ya die bi a e ya die a e mu ye du pa wo se ni pa jine wo ye e so no na asofo e ni asor ko fo di di agro pa ye fa kwa die nya shi se se but wo se Quitter, Yammy and Nima, or be so cool, or be so soft, or be so abusive for, or be so one cassa, a bra body, a yea, yea, into a bar. So, Macqua Hella, not Macqua Heaven, it is a wow so. That Yammy shall pa, Amen. Amen, Mamma. My dear, God called me to gather holy people for Him. That is what salvation is about, and that is what action power is about. So if you want to be saved, run to action power and let me train you properly. If you play with your own life, you will die and go to hell. God doesn't want you to go to hell. That is why he's telling you this. Unia, enkwajie hon hiya che bibia. Enunti na nyanku pong efremi. Se meme boa boa akron kron fo enfamano. San a fan quadiahon. San susu and I shame power suffer no etier. And tis a open quadia to me cabrawati. Namenti two, a coin, a befasso, a bocron cron, a brabon. And as I always tell you, if you are coming to the Lord, don't be afraid of what demons have done in your body. I always tell you that my God has all the power. That is why what I always say after preaching. That some people are copying me. Eh, you can copy me, but if God is not in you, that slogan will do nothing for you. I say it because God is the one who told me to tell the whole world. And I've said it for over four decades. I say that God has all the power to set you free. That is why he wants me an action power to tell the whole world that with God... All things are possible. God bless you.